Hey guys and welcome back to the Minecraft video and for this video I'm going to be showing you guys the portals mod. Now before I show you guys any of these new items we got tons and tons of new items as you can see weapons and weapons and weapons. This one even has a bacon on it and this one has a potato. Um, but then I'll show you these cool items right here you know they're pretty fancy I really do like them and then I'll show you this crazy thing we have on the wall. But first up we have to read the message from Mark. So he's left us a book and then he's got tons and tons of new items to show you guys today. So let's go ahead and read the book. It says, Dear brothers, these portals items have been splendid for me. I want to pass them on to you. Don't be foolish, Mark. So that is so cool. Thank you so much, Mark. Um, I can't wait to get started. Um, we're trying this out today on our wonderful yacht. Let me go ahead and show you this wonderful yacht. There will be a download link in the description to this um, map, by the way, guys. So if you guys fancy, um, you know, pretty much downloading it, there will be a link there. But what I really want to show you guys is our weapons today. We have a total of five weapons. One, two, three, four, five. And let me go ahead and take every single one of these out and let's try them all out. To be honest, they do pretty much exactly the same. You know, they're not very different to each other. They all do the same. Um, but let me go ahead and show you the recipes for these items. The portal gun, the default portal gun, is made with um, five iron ingots, uh, two obsidian blocks, a diamond, and a miniature black hole. The miniature black hole is made with nether, star in the middle, with ender pearl dusts. The ender pearl dusts are made with ender pearls, um, so it is quite an expensive recipe. And the rest of these are made with just colouring in the um, default portal gun with a light blue dye. And then this next one is done with a dandelion yellow. And these two here are just exactly the same but with bacon, with the default gun, and with a new item called the potatoes, which is made with two redstone repeaters, a redstone, a jukes box, dandelion yellows, two redstone torches, a potato, and a button. So we do have quite a few cool items today, and all these other items they do are pretty much just give you different colors. So let's go ahead and place one there, and there we go, different colors, which some of you guys prefer to have loads of different colors, but it also be quite cool to have quite a few different portals. So before we speak anymore, let's go ahead and get inside this portal, and we came out the other one. Um, this is one I placed earlier with this gun here, as you can see, um, the two sort of semicircles in the middle of our screen are completely colored in as opposed to this one here. So if we right click, we'll get the purple one. And if we left click, we'll get them both colored in quite nicely, which basically means we have now got portals. So just so you want to get rid of these portals, all you've got to do is press R and that will get rid of the portals, which is so cool. And another cool feature before going these portals is if you press G, here we go, let's see. And you can pretty much just pick up an item you want to pick up. So let's press G, let's see. There you go, we've got an item here. And if you just right click, you can throw it and it will it literally just landed there, which is so cool. You can throw blocks around, you can hit other people with your blocks, and it is so cool. So let's go ahead and go inside this portal right here. Now this was actually one I placed earlier at the top of this building. There was literally the boat we were at, there is everything we were going on, and it's just so cool. You can teleport around, and you can do so many cool features with this. It is just absolutely amazing. So we were up, uh, where are we? Can you see this right in the middle of my screen, those two broken blocks there of glass? That's where I went in. So yeah, so we traveled so far in so little time. And there's so many other th cool things you can do. Um, let me go ahead and show you a couple more items we have in the chest. Um, oh, let's get off these items before it creates a portal there. So we have uh, the long full boot, which you can add two of them together to make the long full boot. And this can be made with an obsidian block and two diamonds and six iron ingots. And what this item will do is if you go out and um, let's put it on, here we go. So we now have this item on, let's see what we look like. There we go. <laughs> it kind of looks like oversized shoes. Um, but let's go ahead and fly. Here we go. And let's go in game mode zero to go back into survival mode. And look what happens. There we go. We survived the fall. Um, nothing at all happened to us, which is so, so cool. And that's because we were wearing the, um, what were they called again? The long full boots. So those are really cool features, really handy and everything. Um, and yeah, you know, it can protect you against falling long distances. 
Um, forget this gun. This was one another gun I created earlier. It's just a different color once again. Nothing else to this one, but it's really cool. But you might want to keep in mind also is just say um, you shoot these items, they will change. So as you can see, we've got different colors now. You can kind of see it on my inventory changing away. Um, and it has gotten rid of these blocks here, no matter if we use the same sort of guns. So you've got to be careful that you don't use the exact replicas of your guns, because if not, it could get rid of portals that you've saved, like in really far distances, like over there. And it would mean you have to go back there to set them up again. So let's put all these inside. And now we have some really cool items. We have three new turrets. We have the most basic one, which is the sentry turret, which is made with a redstone and five iron ingots and two obsidian blocks. And then we have the oracle turret, which is like a rare turret that can be made whilst making these sentry turrets. And you might get like one in every 20 you make or something, but they are pretty much exactly the same. They're not very different at all. And then if you do a defective um, turret, they're pretty much made with a sentry turret being put in a furnace and smelted. And these are just broken turrets. Now, some people might want those for different reasons, but I personally do not want any of those. Um, I will tell you guys why later on, but really they just have no use to them. That's why I just don't want them. So let's go ahead and place some of these turrets down. There we go. And as you can see, they're very small life points. So if we knock one, they do die. So let me just go ahead and knock all these down um, just so I can put them up again and do them in a row. So one, two, three, oopsies, three, four. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and get some spawners. Let's go spawn, what should we spawn to kind of get, let's spawn a spider, oh, really cool. So if the spider goes in front of this line, which could be quite handy um, to protect like my yacht, for example. As you can see, the lines actually stop exactly here, which is kind of perfect distance. So if any sort of spider or something goes in this sort of area or any sort of zombie, it will get shot down. There you go. Really nicely shot and completely murdered it. So as you can see, now they're kind of making sure there's no other blocks around or no other sort of mobs or anything. But let's place one quite far away. Let's place one right here. As you can see, they do aim for it. And it doesn't even have to be in that line, really. They, they have to be quite close to the line, but not exactly in the line, which is really cool. So I can kind of put one here. Let's see, there you go. And even the furthest one away starts to shoot at it. But the most annoying thing is, just say a, wow, they're really going for that one. <laughs> they are really murdering that one down, poor thing. All he wants to do is live. But the only annoying thing is, if you push them, they just literally just like die, which is so annoying, but I guess that's one thing you could do. And the Oracle one is, once again, a very basic one. And they didn't do anything either. You know, I wish they did. And they just played like music. Can you hear it? I can kind of like hear it. So the different sort of variations of turrets all do different things. And if we do the um, defective one, here we go. As you can see, this one will try and shoot, but it just can't. It's like broken or something. And that's could be, I don't know, I don't, honestly don't know why people would want these, they just don't work. I guess you could use it for spotting creatures, so just say you're doing something around here, and then like they start to spot you. That's something you could use, um, but besides that, you know, there's nothing else you could do with these ones besides that. So let's go ahead and get rid of these, and we don't have much use for them elsewhere, which is really cool. And now we have this really cool contraption here, which is made with Four iron ingots to create the high energy pellet launcher with a redstone and two gold ingots. And then we need the catcher, which is two obsidian blocks, two iron ingots, two gold ingots, and one redstone. So um, I've kind of made it already, but let's go ahead and make another one. We're gonna need th this redstone torch. So there we go. So let me put one, how, where, where can we put one? Mm, no, I don't want one there. I'm gonna put one here, just right there. And let's put this catcher Right, uh, let's see, let's get rid of that. Nope, can we put it there? I'm just trying to find like an area to put it in, just so, um, so let's go ahead and get another block because it needs to be on a very strong block like stone, for example, that's a good a little comparison. Let's do stone, there we go. There we go, perfect. So let's go ahead and get rid of these items here. Perfect, just make sure nothing's on the floor. If not, it could ruin it slightly. So let's go ahead and use a redstone torch to activate it. There you go, it's activated. 
and this will now literally just continue all the way over until it touches there and it will stop which is quite sad but you can kind of start it again let's see there you go and it will just keep on going like that for ages now this one as you can see it will bounce back and forth so I'll show you what happens when we place a spawner so let's go ahead and get another spawner out is really cool I like this one a lot um, let's get something basic let's get a zombie there we go zombie so let's place a zombie right here as you can see it will literally just murder it so anything that goes in front even you if you go in front it will murder you and um, which is quite dangerous in a sense but if you keep an eye on it it will be fine there you go it could be like to be used as an obstacle course so just say you want to get past here so we go now there you go we made it so you could you kind of use that like a little game and kind of go back and forth with the game like that which is really cool um, oh we just got hit but thank goodness we are in um, creative mode and let's see what other items we have so let's get rid of these items we have a couple more items to show you we have the aerial faith plates which is made with three iron ingots a redstone a glass block and two obsidian blocks that is a really cool item then we have the weighted storage cube which can be made with four stones and four iron ingots and if you use a poppy on that, it will turn into like your little pet. Um, so hit, this is what it will make, literally a weighted companion cube. And what this companion cube will do is whilst it is in your inventory, it will heal you. So let's go ahead and place a block there. Whoops, my bad. I forgot about that. And as you can see now, it's literally hitting it away. But if we use the rose on it, it will love us. And there we go. It will now be ours for quite a while. And you kind of see that little cube thing messing around. Let's push it. Oops, whoa. Got a little bit violent there, did ya? Um, but now we can test out this really cool item, which is the aerial faith plate. So let's go ahead and place it. We need to place it on a very flat. Maybe you have to do it over here, let's see. There you go. Finally, we found a place to put it. And if you walk on top of it, here we go. It will shoot you across, which is so cool. So you can let, let well, actually, let's, let's try this out. I haven't tried this out yet, but let's try it out. There we go. Good. We put one there. Oh, okay, we have to get more stone. Here we go. Perfect. Off, off. Stone, stone. Nine. There we go. So let's go ahead and do this again. So what I'm trying to do is jump from block to block. Here we go. One, two. There we go. <laughs> that is so cool. You can kind of like jump like a bunny. And what you can do is you can right click and change the distance. So horizontal power, which is um, like think of the horizon so where the Sun goes down so that's the strength of it the verticalness is the height um, need redstone no so that's perfect let's go ahead and let's go and do this again um, so this next one should shoot us quite far hopefully there we go you see whoa that's definitely a lot further than last time oh and now we are lagging because I went on it so guys, this does actually wrap up our mod today. Um, thanks guys for watching. If you have any questions, please post them below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And yeah, there will be download links in the description. So I'll see you all soon. Peace out.